everybody and welcome back. It's me, Shwebby. I'm here with another Animal Crossing New Horizons how-to. Today, I'm going to show you how to get some of Celeste DIYs in a matter of a few minutes. This does require time traveling, so if you ain't about that life, get a friend who is and it'll be easy enough to do. Little Miss Celeste here, this adorable red owl, is the younger sister to Blathers and her favorite thing is stars and just in general constellations. She has some of the coolest items that you can get in the game itself. However, she is so freaking rare to come across, it takes forever to get these items in the first place. Now, please understand the Zodiac items, you'll only be able to get within the time period that the Zodiac actually falls. But for everything else, which includes wands and some of her, like the favorite crescent moon chair, the moon, the Nova light, we're going to be able to get these relatively easily. So on a night where she shows up, which I recommend you check your entire island, on a norm she'll spawn near your house, but that doesn't mean that she won't show up on the beach or somewhere else. I have her trapped here so I could actually show this. But anyways, you go ahead and talk to her, you get whatever DIY she has for you, and you can continue to talk to her if you want. If you have any Virgo or star items, she'll tell you stories about it. Either way, when you're done collecting your DIY stuff from her, you're going to go ahead and save and exit the game. So once you have safely saved and exited your game, you're going to go to System Settings, you're going to go down to System and Date and Time. Now, we're going to time travel either one day forward or one day backwards. Do not go above that, otherwise you do risk the chance of her not being there. After that, you're going to go back into the game, and all you really have to do is go in long enough to save the game and exit. Should you do anything in the game, it doesn't really make a big difference, but I highly recommend that if you want this to be a quick and easy thing, that that's all you do. You go in just enough to start the game and save and exit. So when you do come back in on the day that you initially found Celeste, make sure you check everywhere on your island. She, like I said, she does normally show up around your house, but that doesn't mean she won't show up somewhere else on the island, so make sure you give it a thorough look over. She's hiding somewhere. When you do find her, she will give you a brand new DIY. Now, if you're like myself and you've gone through all the DIYs that she has available, except for the Zodiac stuff, afterwards, she'll start giving you stars. Either it will be that month's Zodiac star, it'll be little stars, and occasionally it'll be large stars as well. So she'll never run out of usefulness for seeing her. So with that, now you know how to get Celeste DIYs in a matter of a few minutes. If you'd like for a friend to be able to partake in this as well, all you have to do is invite them in anytime that Celeste is shown up in your town. Celeste will not give you duplicate DIYs, so the DIYs that you get are purely for yourself. Even if you have multiple people in your own town, everyone gets their own copy. So if you'd like to help out a friend, they'll have to come into the town, talk to Celeste, and she will give them a DIY as well. And that is how you get Celeste DIYs within a matter of a few minutes. If you guys have any questions about this, please let me know down in the comment section below. As I mentioned, it's fairly easy, does require time travel, and probably just looking around your island a few times. But until then, my shrewbles, I hope you all enjoy, and I hope you all get some of the very fabulous DIYs that Celeste has to offer. And let's hear them. We're getting Celeste DIYs very quickly. Battle cries. Woo! Yeah, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next episode.